everyone. Welcome to Nikko and Kinugawa Onsen. It is a popular travel destination in Japan. The traditional Japanese scenery entertains more than 10.5 million visitors from all over the world annually. Starting from the Japan's brand new landmark tower named Tokyo Sky Tree, which is 634 meters high, and hop on the Tobu Limited Express Spacia for only two hours from Tokyo. We will take you on a wonderful journey with Tobu. Presented by Tobu Railway Group. Let's start from Asakusa, the gateway to Tobu Railway Line. Alex from France and Ho from Taiwan will join our trip. They are international students in Kanda University's Department of International Studies. They are anxious to challenge many things, so let's get started. First, we should purchase a discount pass for international travelers sold from Tobu Railways. You can reserve this ticket on the website beforehand or buy one at the Tobu Sightseeing Service Center in Asakusa Station. Show the ticket at the manned ticket gate. It takes only two hours' ride from Asakusa. There are three types of Tobu Railway discount passes for international travelers. World Heritage Pass Kinugawa Theme Park Pass and All Nikko Pass. This time, we use All Nikko Pass. Please make sure that a limited express fare is not included in all passes. Platform in Asakusa Station. That is all the preparation we need. Let's go! Let's say goodbye to the Tokyo Sky Tree for a while. Alex and Ho are having breakfast while enjoying a great view on the Spacia. They open a map and start making plans. Enjoy your trip and use the pass effectively. They have just arrived at Tobu Niko Station. Only a two hour train ride will take you to a world apart from the bustling big city. Their heartbeats start to accelerate. As they walk, they found a store selling Niko wood carving products. This store is a shop of long standing selling handmade wood carving products. We can watch skillful craftsmen working at the back of the store. Next, we visited Utakata where we can dress in kimonos for a day. We can choose one from 50 varieties of kimonos. Let's see what they chose. Oh, they look good in a kimono. They found a vehicle. This is a rickshaw that dates back to the Meiji period. This vehicle moves by manpower. It's very comfortable. And so they arrive at Shinkyo. This bridge is a World Heritage Site. Say cheese! Besides Shinkyo is Toshogu Shrine, also a World Heritage Site. Toshogu Shrine is a historical shrine of 400 years. Two million people visit here annually. You can see the famous three monkeys. <laughs> So now we are clean. 
Yeah, we're kidding. <laughs> of course, I know the sleeping cat. So tell me what it is. And here is sleeping cat. Very cute. This is Yomeimon Gate, introduced on the top page of the Discount Pass website. So impressive. And so gorgeous. Through it, we can understand the authority of the Tokugawa back then. Let's take a rest. They are looking at the prestige scenery of Nikko from the Kanaya Hotel while drinking tea. Time goes by gracefully. Next, they visit the Tamozawa Imperial Villa Memorial Park. This is the place where the Taisho Emperor retreated. Afterward, the Emperor and the Crown Prince used it for three generations. The building consists of 106 traditional Japanese-style rooms. Various exhibits are also attractive. There is the Kanmanga Fuji Abyss near the Tamozawa Imperial Villa Memorial Park. The reason why it's called Baka Jizo is because when the visitors count these Jizo, the number is different each time. The hotel we will stay today is a Japanese spa hotel. It's the first time for them to take a natural hot spring bath which gently heals your body. Another pleasure of the trip is dinner time. To our trip. They will have Yuba bean curd skin, which is a special product of Nikko. It's the first time for Ho to eat Yuba. How is it, Ho? Mmm, delicious. It's delicious? Yes. Really? It's How? like tofu. Yes, it's tofu actually. Mm. You can say anything. Just looking at your eyes, I could already have my answer. Please refresh yourselves for tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Next morning, we will travel by local bus. They go up the Iroha slope and go to Lake Yunoko. This is the fountainhead of Lake Yunoko. About 50 Celsius hot water well up from here. Be careful not to touch carelessly. <laughs> Near here, there is Lake Yunoko. You can walk around it on foot. It also takes five minutes on foot from Lake Yunoko. You can see a magnificent waterfall up close. There is also a trekking route alongside of the river. How long does it take? Let's walk to find out. so tired but we still have a long way to go Alex prepared lunch boxes to have a lunch at a viewpoint great the lunch is special with great views Ho looks so happy now Four hours of trekking was hard work. 
Good job. There's a tea shop at the end of the course. A scenic view waits for those who finished the course. They moved to the port of Chuzenji Cruise on foot. From here is a relaxing boat trip. The breeze is so refreshing. One of Japan's three major waterfalls, the Kegon Fall, is a five-minute walk from the boat port. What a powerful scenery! Five tons of water runs down in a second. The rainbow welcomes the two. Look, a cerro! The hotel for the second day is the Nikko Lakeside Hotel, famous for their natural hot springs. Ho oh, is bathing in one right now. Pure white hot water, isn't that rare? It helps to improve your skin to be beautiful. You are going to be more beautiful after the bath. Also, they are having a full course French dinner. Alex, who is from France, is satisfied with the taste. <laughs> they wake up early today to visit the Italian Embassy's lakeside former villa. This building was built in 1928 as a vacation home for the Italian ambassador. The view of the lake is wonderful. They travel to another destination, Kinugawa Onsen, heading back to Tobuniku Station, riding the train. Arriving by bus and train at the Kinugawa Onsen Station. The two are off to try river rafting. Putting on a helmet, hmm, it looks challenging. Good luck, guys! A rapid stream from the start, and the stream gets even faster. There's a spot that goes deep under the Kinugawa River. You can jump down from way top of the rock. Alex, jump! He looks satisfied. Oh, it's your turn. Oops, looks like she's afraid. That was a satisfying hour and a half of rafting. It was so it was fun. so fun, so exciting. And you didn't jump. Yeah, I couldn't jump. <laughs> this is the hotel for our last night's stay. And the last dinner for the trip. Wow, now that beef looks yummy. It's called the Toshigi beef. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good. A great morning bath to start the final day of the trip. Ho is excited of the public onsen.
This is the Nikko Edo Wonderland, which is used often for period drama settings. You can definitely experience the Japanese culture here. It's like we just slipped back in time. Have you ever seen a samurai film or drama? Well, you can see a live performance here. Take photos with the people from the Edo period. Now that's what you call an unforgettable experience. The next stop is the Tobu World Square. You can save more than using the discount pass. There is an unexpected surprise the two will surely be amazed of. What could it be? The answer is realistic miniatures. The miniatures here are all made of 125th size of the original. Look, they have a miniature spacia. The two found something they saw three days ago. This is a miniature Tokyo sky tree. Yeah. It's big, even though it's 125th from the actual size. The hungry two took lunch at the restaurant in the building, having lunch with the Tokyo sky tree in sight. Now isn't that luxurious? Come visit restaurant Heian when you are craving for Japanese food. The fun and exciting trip in Kinugawa Onsen is almost over. It's time to go back to Tokyo. But before that, we want to share with you one last place on our way back. Let's enjoy the boat tour at the Uzuma River near the Tochigi Station. This place is also filled with the traditional Japanese atmosphere. They are both delighted to sing with the boatman. Walk slowly through the Kura no Machi and to the Tochigi station. On to the Spacia and back to Tokyo. They are fast asleep from all the excitement. Back from the trip, the two visited the most popular spot in Tokyo, the Tokyo Sky Tree. This is the viewing deck, which is called Tembo Deck. 350 meters above the ground. What a sight! You can enjoy panoramic views and stare of the Greater Tokyo 350 meters straight down from the deck. And now to the 450 meter Tembo Gallery. <laughs> it is needless to say that the view is just fabulous. Everyone, how was the trip to Nikko and Kinugawa Onsen? The trip was filled with wonderful heritage sites, beautiful scenery, hot springs, and delicious food. So why not take a ride on the Spacia when visiting Japan? Bye. Bye. Alex and Hope, thank you for a wonderful trip. Mm -hmm.